What's up everyone? Hope you guys didn't forget about me. I'm back. Sorry I was gone a little bit. I was taking a break from filming videos and stuff just for the winter break and for Christmas. So I wanted to wish you guys a very happy new year. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. But I'm back and I'm about to start posting a lot more videos now. So anyways, this first video of the new year is actually going to be about what it takes to get recruited and to get into Stanford. I know I've seen a lot of you guys comment and ask questions about what you need to do, what your grades need to be like, or how you have to play to get into Stanford. And I actually reached out to one of my old coaches at Stanford and I had him send some stuff to me so I can kind of give you guys the inside scoop about what it's like from a coach himself, you know? So what it takes, what it's like from a coach himself, you're gonna get his intake on that and hopefully that helps you guys. I am about to head out to a ski trip with a bunch of my friends and family to Canada and Whistler. So I'm gonna put some, uh, some of that tape in there before Brad talks. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this. More more videos coming soon, and yeah. Y'all ready, boys? First run of the Let's day. First hey. run of the day, Adam. Right here, you're ready. Hey. First run of the day. Let's get ready, boys. <laughs> Tell her only partly, I only love my bed and my mom, I'm sorry 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me 81, they'll bring the crashers to the party And you know me, turn the O2 into the O3 so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It took a lot of time to try to set up, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I worked really hard on it. I'm gonna answer some questions and give some shout outs at the end of the video, so stick around for those. As always, hope you enjoy. Here we go. Mike Wreck, what's going on, man? Pumped that you're gonna have me on your channel. First thing I'll introduce myself, Brad Izik. I've been a GA coaching at Stanford University, the football team there for the past four seasons. Uh, got to overlap with Rector for three years, his final three years as a player there. Some really special times, really accomplished a lot as a team, both on the field and off the field. And for you guys tuning into Director's videos on, on YouTube, an example of someone who's driven, someone who knows what he wants in life, and then also has the ability to go out and get it done. He's a accomplished everything that he set his mind out to coming into Stanford. He wanted to be a starting wide receiver, you know, a guy who made an impact on the field and then also set himself up for his future. When he came to Stanford, I'm sure he was a young kid with a lot of aspirations. It takes a lot to get into Stanford initially, but to leave here really set up to, to begin his, his career in medicine after he's done working towards his football career. Really proud of what he's accomplished and I think he's a great asset for the next generation to, to look towards guys like him who do it in all phases of his life. The guy's a, a walking example of, of someone who knows what it takes to get the job done. And again, he's getting a taste of the NFL right now. And when that's over, he's going to do just as well in his career in medicine. He asked me to come on his channel to kind of give some words of advice from my perspective as a coach. Um, I grew up around football. My father has been in the NFL my whole life. So 26 years, I've seen him go around different organizations, be around different coaches, different people, different players. Um, so I've had a lot of different viewpoints of football. And then for myself, I played at Wake Forest, played wide receiver at Wake Forest for three years. Um, then went straight out to Stanford, began coaching under one of the best staffs in the nation and Coach Shaw and company. So I was, I've been very fortunate to, to experience a lot at a young age, but I guess if I were to give some words of advice to, to guys coming up playing this game and looking to go on and, and do things you know, at the collegiate ranks or in the professional ranks, the first thing I would say is, is don't squander any opportunity. An example is some of our guys like Mike Reck, who was out there and was a tremendous athlete, excelled in track, excelled in football, in soccer, in high school. He he never limited himself of what schools were a possibility for him to go and play collegiate football at. And that's because he took care of it in the classroom. So you might hear it from you know every which way, hey, grades are important, do well in school, do well in school. We'll take that to heart. And the sooner you take that to heart, the better. You never wanna be the guy looking back and saying, oh, this is what I could have been if my GPA was a little higher, if I would have studied for the SAT, or if I would have retaken a couple tests and and done my best to not just make qualifying scores, but something that really opens the door to the opportunities that you don't even know are there. A lot of the times, kids won't even get recruited if they're playing sports because their GPA is too low or their test score isn't in the realm of recruitability for that program. We do that all the time at Stanford. There's, there's a threshold that you gotta meet, and if you don't meet it, then we're not even gonna look at the tape. So if you're a young, aspiring athlete who wants to play college football, college baseball, college basketball, whatever it is, the first thing you gotta do, you gotta take 
care of your business in the classroom. And that, that is so important because you do not want to limit yourself of opportunities. It's hard enough to get the opportunity to play collegiate sports. It makes it only harder the more limiting factors that you have, whether it be grades or getting in trouble outside of school, whatever those outside circumstances are. You just don't want to make it that much harder for you to go on and do what you want to do. And for that reason, I would say continue to look to guys like Michael Rector, who excelled at a high level at Stanford, both in the classroom, both on the field. He knows what it takes to, to get the job done and get to the best school in the world and then go on and set himself up for a medical career after he's done fulfilling his dream of playing in the NFL. So he's accomplishing two tasks that he really wants to do. And yes, he is ultra talented, but a lot of that stems from his hard work and his determination to get done what he wants to get done. So first of all, I'd say kudos to Michael Rector for you know setting a great example for the kids to come and then for the next generations of guys on the come up, make sure you're, you're setting your priorities straight and you're aligning with people that have those similar priorities and are going to bring you along. I know what we always harp at Stanford when we bring recruits in, one of our biggest assets is our locker room. And we're not talking about the fancy locker rooms that you see across the nation that you see on Twitter and you see videos of people giving tours of really nice locker rooms. Stanford had that, but we're talking about the people. And we always talk about to the parents that bring their recruits through. Who are your kids hanging out with when you're trying to see who little Johnny or little Sally is bringing home and, and hanging out with the, after school? Um, you want those kids to be good kids and that locker room we had at Stanford uh, Michael Rector will attest to it that was special the people in that locker room were special because they pushed each other in every regard whether it was inside the classroom on the practice field during games extracurricular activities in the community they pushed each other in every regard to be the best what they wanted to be at so I would definitely say align yourself with the right people have role models role models help have role models that are doing things that you want to do and then go back and look at their path how did they get to where I want to be I want to be some Somewhere. I want to be brain surgeon after I play football. All right, where are my examples of someone who's accomplished that? And I use that example because Michael Rector is someone who's kind of going down that path. He's playing football at a high level. He's trying to pursue his dreams to play in the NFL. And then after that, he set himself up for his medical career and, and taking on med school. And I'm sure he'll take that on with as much determination and passion as he did a practice and and preparing for football games on Saturdays and Sundays. So I would definitely say I'm excited for, for him as a person, but I'm also excited for the impact he has on others. And that's, you know, all everyone subscribing to his channel and watching his videos. Take heart to what he says because he's got a lot of experience and he's, he's got a wealth of knowledge that is valuable for those who, who kind of want to go in a similar direction. So kudos to you guys. Happy New Year, Mike. I'm proud of you and I hope all is well for you and looking forward to seeing what's next. Thanks. Talk to you soon. All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed Brad talking to you guys. He's one of my favorite coaches at Stanford, and he's one of my best mentors still to this day. Um, and so he has a lot of knowledge. So I hope you guys take that and hope that helps you guys like he helped me. And so shout out to Brad for giving us that insight. Always appreciate you, man. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want a shout out, comment squad. If you have any questions, please leave them and I'll answer a few every video. As always, I appreciate all the support and I'm going to start putting out some more videos soon. The first shout out I want to give was Alex Martinez. And he said, squad, keep grinding. I want to let you know I see you bro keep grinding and the second shout out i wanted to give was to zach ginsburg who said hey you were my favorite player when you're on stanford keep posting these vids they're sick and i appreciate that support hopefully i can keep making some cool videos for you guys but i really do appreciate the support all the way from stanford i really do love that i do appreciate all you guys support so there you have it so the first question i want to answer is from simon t who asks if he should go out for running back or wide receiver because he's 5'9 140 pounds and they don't have enough of either and i say go for whatever you want bro i support you 100 percent. if you don't have a preference go in there and tell the coaches you want to do either or and go work your hardest go in the job like that um, work hard i know the sky's the limit man as long as you keep pushing yourself my second question that i wanted to answer is from zizro who asks during my bulking time how much weight did i gain and for how long did i do it and honestly i just did it for about a summer which was probably three months and i gained about 14 pounds i really shot up there that's just my body i think a lot of people have their own body chemistry works their own way so I would just say it's just really really important to be dedicated to it and to be safe when you're bulking make sure you're reading the labels make sure you know what you're putting into your body because ultimately your body is your job your body is your palace this is what you're gonna live with your entire life so be safe when you're doing that work hard and just stay committed to it if you're really trying to bulk. hope that helped you guys I'm moving down to LA in a little bit to hang out and train with some of my friends that I made training in the NFL guys that play in the NFL so I'm gonna go hang out with them train with them and make some videos with them as always, leave a question if you want a question answered. Comment squad if you want a shout out. I appreciate all the support. 
and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Right out. Straight. Do you know? Me and my best friend, 7-Eleven. Yeah. We can go legend.